And uh, Ben, let's tune your violin. It's a little bit sharp. So probably due to the weather, because what is it? Somebody said it was 100 degrees in the car outside. That was like 92. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so listen carefully.
So which scale are you doing? G major. Okay, G major. So let's just run our sequence. And let's see, two stops per bow.
Yeah, they're pretty new. Like a couple weeks old. Yeah, that's new. Okay. Yeah, my A string seems like it's wearing out really fast. Yeah. What kind of strings are these? For the, uh, the TI. Uh-huh. The, the pie? The pie. Yeah, the pie. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's do the squares. So let's start with one, one plus one, so two for bow. Touches the string, it goes. Okay, then we want to go with the, an even speed. So I go. Okay, good. Now. 
in this practicing, you can't be too slow and or too light. So you need to go on a finger diet that comes from Mr. Dingle. So. <laughs> show you one thing with your first finger. You need to get a pen. So with the first finger, I want you to look at the angle. I'm going to show it to the film here. Where's the camera? We want to place the finger on the string so that the finger is oops, more on the left side of that finger. So I'm going to show you when you're looking at your finger. So let's look at your finger. That's right. You kind of play here. See, I see your line right here. See where my line is? Yeah. It's over on the side. So it's more. Yeah, so we're going to um, just put it. Okay, so this is our real estate for the finger, <laughs> more or less. Okay? It's just, just let's see. Put it down. That's right. You see, you're usually like this. Look at your finger. That's right. Now, can you do just a little bit? We're going to just go up, up again. And I want you to keep the finger there. So, so B, once more. So B, good. So we, we probably need to come under. That's right. Really loose here. Good. B. Good. Good. Does that feel 
your friend? Mm-hmm. So you feel like my wrist is more open. Yes, well. that's exactly because you're on this side of the violin. Mm-hmm. When you're looking at it on the right side, that's good. See? Good. But, oh, oh, but see, that you have to keep the angle the same here. That's right. So that's good. Fa, fa. Oh, that's going to help the vibrato. Good. Now, same. Look at your finger. Look at your finger. Keep the angle. Good. And come back down. Good. Now, tap. Keep the angle. Good. Good. See, but you have to then come around like this to keep that angle. That's right, because you need your coat up here, too. Good. And good. So, now, just, just play D, da, 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 D. One, two, two, three. Good. See, that's right. That's the, the angle of your hand. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's really important. You'll you'll watch your film and you'll remember that. Okay, yeah. let's do one more finger. So is that for all the fingers too? No, first finger sets the angle here. So you just play one. But then it can go yeah, yeah, the rest of the yeah. Good. So you see put your first finger. That's it. See how it brings you under a little bit more? Good. So play D, D. C sharp. No, just play it. one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, slight adjustment. Amazing. Yeah. But you just change the finger that tiny bit that, you know, it's like, I guess it's like when they build um, tunnels and they everybody starts from one end and then some other people start from another end if you're off by a millimeter or whatever you're you failed so yeah. that's kind of the margin of error is pretty small okay so take one more finger and another string let's do, do another first finger well let's take another finger uh, just uh second finger okay do the f okay okay so make sure you always do your no hold bow hold so that you're really loose here. Can you just hold your bow? That's right. And then boop. Okay. One, two, three, four, like that. Mm-hmm. And next time we'll add some variation. Okay, let's go back to our arpeggio. So we're going to play two, three. Very slow shift. And we're shifting on the old beat. New beat, new note. So when we change a bow and a shift, we shift on the old bow. Okay, just careful of your bow that, that's right, that's right, just let it hang, that's right. And, very good. And let it sing. Keep your bow. 
slow moving. Three, one, and two, and good. Now listen to the timing. So shift on the down. Now the next arpeggio is a diminished seven. So we're gonna first go with separate bows. Shift to second position. Shift to fifth position. Shift to first position. do we have between all the notes in a diminished seven? A minor third? Yeah, yeah, so it's like a minor third from here to the moon. Now, what is really um, interesting to think about with a diminished seven is that the same finger is not in the same place from one string to the next. So if I play here, well, I play two, four, one, two, one, so, you see the first finger. I'll write in your fingers for that. Yeah, I'll put it in. Yeah, I'll just put them in for you. Okay, so it's two, so we shift here. This is a shift. This is a two on the A. Four, one, three, four, extension. And four on the E. Three, one. Yep, <laughs> that's good. Two. Good. Okay, so let's do separate bows. So we can play. to know that watch because then I have my tritone here I 
have my side sounds here. Why are tritones so interesting? Because it's like the least you know, harmonically stable. You know? No, it's very stable, but it's because the fingers are going to be closer together, right? Yeah. They're, okay. they're half I'm step away. To think like <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so let's do it once more. Let's do stop. separate bows. Shift on what finger here? Third finger. 
That's right. That's right. So you're going to shift on the three. That's right. So it's. So can you take your string here? Clap. Good. Good. 
that. Now, we want to get the most beautiful tone. So, da, can we just sing? Da, 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 on your bow. Do that once more. Just sing it. Oh, what, what about that? You have to take the hot, the air out of your elbow. Right. Good. Okay. Now do the same thing and add the fingers. Good. It, just keep it really even. that you have four notes per what? Uh, uh, tap. No. Per beat. Per well, quarter. four notes per <laughs> quarter note. Yes, yeah. per, per beat. So you have to think of the pulse. Da 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 dee da da da. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah. Two, three, four, one. Good. Okay, now can we go from the beginning with the whole measure per bow? Just keep your eyeballs moving ahead. Uh, the measure? Yeah, yeah, okay. so. The first one? Like a beautiful song. I will do the whole page, but look ahead. Keep your feet. Until you get to the place where you have to move the what? 
uh, upper arm. The yeah. Yeah, upper yes. arm from upper the ball arm. and socket yeah. with a loose pectoral muscle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So can we do the same thing on the D string? <laughs> Sounds so much better. Yeah. Okay, so try just the open A again. That's better. Just uh, briefly for Marshall Lee's 
for Bo. judgment call. What should you be thinking about? I should about? be thinking about keeping my bow arm loose and not pressing and yeah. keeping my left hand relaxed. Yeah, and how about finger before the bow? Yeah, so watch. Finger, finger. That's an easy one because just don't go until your finger's there.
your strings on, did you put lead on, on the bridge here? No, I didn't. Okay, that's really important because mm. then the strings can slide over the bridge, otherwise they get caught on the wood. Mm. So, Where did um, you get that? Lead from a pencil. Oh, just a pencil. Just a pencil. Okay. I didn't know if you meant like actual lead or pencil. No, you don't I have to go the, through the lead mine. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, a little bit <laughs> dangerous. Or find a lead pipe. No, you just need to just get lead from the pencil and really put it yeah, there I've and never here. Never told me that before. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I, on the on here like because on then they're going to slide better. So um, and they're going to last a lot longer because they're they're going to get caught in that that wood there. Okay, so can I hear mariachi pieces. 